Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your own server on Discord and invite the bot to keep your mid-journey AI images private. Why? Well, there are a number of reasons for this. You might not want to scroll through the Discord space, or you may have a project you're working on that's not ready to be unleashed into the wild, or you have a team collaborating on the content. Whatever your reason, there's a solution. Stay tuned. So if you haven't already, log into your mid-journey feed and um, have a look at the new pictures. That's always quite fun. I like to click on the explore and go have a squiz at what other people have done here. Um, always good for some inspiration and uh, maybe some uh, good, good ideas for you, your business and um, your collaborators. So uh, first things first, what we want to do is go to Discord and click on go to Discord. It'll then open up the Mid Journey Discord server room that you've got available. And this is how Discord has basically um, provided the Mid Journey bot to date. So you've got your rooms that you can go, go into, type your commands and your prompts, and um, you basically sit in a queue. Now, what happens is you obviously have a number of images that you have to scroll down and you can scroll for a while. And if you wanted to create your own image, you'd pop, pop in your message and it would then basically rank and stack it and put it at the bottom. All right, so this might be frustrating for a number of reasons. Um, there could be a huge amount of content being created at one given at any given time. So you wanna try and get a way to um, have your stuff private and only for yourself. So simple way to do that. Um, so what we're gonna do over here is click on the plus button on the left so add a server all right you want to create your own server and it'll just be for me and my friends and we'll pop in the server name let's just call it my mid journey all right so pretty simple pretty descriptive and click on next all right so easy as that so you've now got a server set up in discord and what we can do now is click back on mid journey to try and invite the bot to our server all right so as you log in you will now see on the right hand side over here you've got your different teams mid journeys moderators etc and it's really important that if you don't have this just click on the um, the button on the searcher make sure that that's cleared off and if you don't see it just click uh, click on the mid journey button again and it will come up over here all right so what we're going to do now is you want to invite the mid journey bot so on the right hand side click on mid journey bot real simple and you can click on add to server all right real simple all right so add a bot to a server create the commands in a server paint a little happy tree that's always quite nice. Um, so they want access to your server, right? So that's, um, that's pretty much what we've asked it to do. Select your server from the list, My Mid Journey. All right, click on continue. Accept all of these, because this is what it's gonna need to give you. And click on okay. Wait, are you a human? Yes, I think I am a human. Last I checked. All right, it's now been authorized. Okay, so what we can do now is quite simply go to our newly created server on the left hand side over here. If you've got multiple servers, it'll all be listed over here. But let's click on the server over here, my mid journey. And here we go, you made it. So we can actually see here that the mid journey bot has been installed and we can now type in our normal mid journey command so imagine um, a fluffy bunny playing a saxophone and make it oh, i think it's what we're going to do that so let's just click that in all right it's now going to start and uh, produce the image so private it shouldn't go into the um, the main discord uh, um, version so we can just have a quick double check over here so let's click on mid journey so nobody should have typed in a fluffy bunny playing a saxophone 
All right, so as you can see here, the newbie's room is a wolf, and that's definitely not a fluffy bunny. And newbies, and um, we shouldn't have anything in here. All right, and we shouldn't have anything in here. All right, so as you can see, it is private, it is yours, and you can now use it um, in your own environment and knowing it's safe. Uh, from others. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe uh, for more content like this. Thank you.